It's quite the find. Hello friends and welcome back to Crow's Thrifty Finds. My name is Melanie. So for this week's video, we are going to do another decade video. It has been a while since I've done a decades video. And you know, I thought I'd talk about the 50s a little bit. I have not done a 50s video yet. It is a decade I am not as familiar with since I was not there, but I've been doing some pretty extensive education in this area because there are definitely really good items that you wanna be on the lookout for that originated in the 50s. So I figured I'd do a video talking about some of these items and what they are so you know to pick them up if you see them out in the wild. Let's chat. Okay, so item number one is this Japanese bomber jacket. It's embroidered. It was a thing in the 50s. People were wearing these. There's many sold comps you can find on eBay that sell in the $300 range. So that is huge money if you can find one of these jackets. So it's something you want to be on the lookout for, for sure, because these jackets have huge payouts. Item number two, kind of a random thing. They are Pixie. Pixies were popular in the 50s. Um, they, these are condiment jars. So people would put like jellies and preserves and other type of condiments in them. And these jars sell in the high 100s if you can find them out there. And they kind of have a unique look about them. So it's kind of one of those things that once it's in your brain, you can probably spot it out there. So definitely take a good look and be on the lookout for pixie condiment jars. They were a thing in the 50s. Something that was very popular in the 50s, and I'm actually going to do two different items um, related, is Western movies. People in the 50s liked their Western movies. They were all about the cowboys. So first off, um, cowboy boots, they were a thing back in the 50s for sure. So check out these Justin boots. These are almost, you know, selling for almost $200 and really cool. And, you know, you just want to be looking out for any kind of Justin boots, really, but especially um, the older, more vintage version Justin boots. Really any Justin boots, if you can get a good deal for them, are, are winners. But they date all the way back to the 50s. So if you can find those, those early, early Justin boots, you can get almost $200 for them on eBay. So be looking. Now, it's not just cowboy boots that people were wearing. In the 50s, people were also wearing motorcycle boots back then. And you can see these Chippewa boots, they sold for over $200. Now, these are new, so to kind of take that in, into consideration, if you find a used pair, you know you're probably going to get in the hundreds for them. But still, these boots you could find for $5 at Salvation Army. You just never know. So you want to make sure that you are looking for vintage motorcycle boots from the 50s. Item number five, and there are several different variations of these. These are um, metal thermometers. So, you know, they had these at businesses, you know, different, different companies, um, different products would sponsor them and have them on display. Um, these date back to the 50s and they sell for big money. I'm sure, you know, company brand is important, but yeah, you, there's very, very many soul comps that you will see that go in the 300. So it's not just this one that I'm showing you here. This is just one example of, of many that are similar. And, and these are things, you know, you might be able to find at a flea market. You never know. Or even an antique store if, if it's, you know, if they undervalued it possibly and you know it's worth 300, maybe they only priced it for 100, you know. So these things are out there. And you want to be looking for metal thermometers. Item number six, sweatshirts from the 50s. One theme I've noticed that does really well on eBay are college sweatshirts. And, you know, those older schools that were 
that were running in the 50s. There's t there's a lot of them. But yeah, the, the major schools, those Ivy League schools do really well. Uh, you can see this sweatshirt here sold for $300. So there's a lot of good sweatshirts in that $300 range that have college names on them. So these crew neck sweatshirts can date back, you know, and you want to make sure that you look it up if you find one that old. Next, number seven. This is an item I think a lot of resellers know to pick up, but um, good to know that Lego sets, they were a thing in the 50s, and even just one set, you know, that's small can sell in the hundreds. So if you find a Lego set that's very dated, you definitely want to look it up because it's one of those things that you even though it's just one tiny little set, you can make some really big money. So definitely look into the set if it looks old. I have never found Legos this old. I found Legos from the 80s that I've been able to make some good money on, but Legos from the 50s are probably a little more rare. But know that if you find these old sets, they are worth good money. Next, since it's almost Halloween, it's October now, right? We might as well do a Halloween item, right? So... This item uh, from the 50s, it is a paper mache pumpkin lantern. Now this particular one sold for $169. Um, and this is not an isolated thing. That's what these go for. These are very delicate. So these things could have broken down over time. So, you know, it may not be the most common thing that you find, but I could guarantee you that they are out there. And you know, this time of year, the thrift stores put out their seasonal items. So it's a great time of year to be looking for these pumpkins. Halloween stuff, a lot of people will tell you, horror stuff, it all, a lot of it sells year round. So even if you find it just after Halloween, somebody's selling one, there's a good chance that you don't have to sit on that for a year. Somebody could very possibly swipe it up sooner. But these are good money, really cool. So you want to be on the lookout for these paper mache pumpkin lanterns. Next, we have, this is one of those things that I just wanna make sure that you're still paying attention when I show you. <laughs> and it's funny, uh, but this is a jock strap <laughs> from the 50s. And look at how much this thing sold for. It sold for $539. Now you may think that that's just this weird one listing. And 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 yes, I, I could not find any others that sold that high. But you know, this one looked a little special compared to the others. But even other jock straps, they were selling in the 150s, 160s. So if you see an old jock strap, if you don't mind touching it, <laughs> you might want to pick it up because these things sell for good money. It's a strange thing, but there's so many strange things that sell on eBay when it comes down to it. So this is just one strange thing of many. And for item number 10, we're going to talk about Western shirts. I have done very well on Western shirts in general. And again, with Western movies being big in the 50s and the boots were big in the 50s, well, guess what? You're going to wear shirts that match your boots. And I would like to highlight these. They're very pretty. They're fancy. They're pretty easy to spot, which is what's nice. Um, and there's a lot of different brands that make them. So it's not just one brand in particular. There's some brands, of course, that do better. But Western shirts from the 50s, if you can find them, they're big money. I have found a vintage Western shirt from the 70s that I sold for, I believe, just under 100. So yeah, Western shirts in general are great pickups, uh, but the older they are, even better. So you can get bigger values. As you can see, this one sold for $224. So these are great pickups. Always be on the lookout for Western wear shirts. And don't forget to like this video if you haven't already. And feel free to drop a comment about an item from the 50s that you're looking for or that you've sold, that you've done really well with. We're all here to teach each other, right? It can be very helpful to just kind of have that community feel. Um, but yeah, that's going to do it for the video this week. And again, my name is Melanie. This is Crow's Thrifty Finds. I will see you next week.